Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I have taken one new class, man. So how am I looking? Comment below in the comment section. By the way, jokes apart, here you see that I have found another new free AI model and its name is Optimus Alpha and it is published by this open router and it is a second uh, stealth model. Those who have watched my previous video, I have already discussed about this Quasar Alpha, you know, it was a stealth model and now we have another stealth model which is Optimus Alpha and the important things that you have to know that uh, it has some extra features than the Quasar Alpha. Here you see that 1 million token context length and it is a huge and here you see that optimized for general tasks and excellent for coding and available for free during the stealth period because we don't know who is the actual provider it may be google or it may be openai or it may be microsoft we don't know now and uh, now actually they are uh, gathering the feedback how people are using it uh, is it helpful or not okay so my plan for this uh, video is that i will make one game using this uh, using this model Optimus Alpha. So for that I asked ChatGPT that this 3.js game ideas and here you see that I got some game ideas from this ChatGPT and I found this one uh, interesting this endless runner. Here you see that uh, I asked a detailed prompt for this game. Okay so this is the prompt. So I will simply copy this prompt and I will use this stealth model this Optimus Alpha and I will see that how much it has a capability to generate the um, code right and also uh, another thing what I will do I will check this model uh, for this for this this type of SaaS landing page here you see that one person commented uh, on uh, Twitter or posted on Twitter that Optimus Alpha is insane for web dev Optimus creates some of the best frontends I have seen competing the likes of Sonnet 3.7 and Gemini 2.5 Pro. Here you see that with this prompt, uh, create a visually stunning SAS landing page in one HTML file. Here you see that this is the SAS landing page he got and it actually looking very good modern UI, right? And also here you see that another person posted Open Router's latest uh, mystery model Optimus Alpha scored 53% on the Eater Polygot leaderboard and this this places it in the middle of the pack with Quasar O3 Mini Medium and GOG3. Here you see. Uh, so if you watch this uh, benchmark comparison here Optimus Alpha is there and Quasar Alpha is there. But uh, I have found that uh, this Optimus Alpha is actually better than this Quasar Alpha and also you will see uh, when I will do the comparison. Okay. And here you see that another uh, another comparison from the community like okay this is where I prompted Optimus Alpha for the simulation of space time curvature. Uh, it is actually amazing from this model. Okay. And here you see that Optimus Alpha versus Quasar Alpha another person have posted uh, on Twitter. Both Optimus and Quasar seem fantastic in coding and pretty helpful that by the end of the day we will know more about them. Here you see that on the left hand side it is uh, by the way let me play it again so that you will understand. Okay so let me close this marker. On the left hand side uh, he has mentioned that it is from the Optimus Alpha. Okay so on the left hand side you see it is Optimus Alpha and you see the balls are actually visible clearly. And on the right hand side it is from the Quasar Alpha, here you see. Uh, so both models are good uh, at their own position and we will see that how much it has a capability. Now for that you have to go to this open router, I have given this link in the description and go to there and, uh, and if you don't have any API key, so go here this API option and here you will find this create API key, click on this and here click on this create key okay and after that here give a name so i am giving my channel name or uh, let me keep this model name here okay it will be un very much understandable for us uh, optimus alpha let me copy this 
and let me paste here so this is the api key name and here it is my api key so copy this and let me open my vs code and uh, install this extension client okay and uh, if you have not already installed it so i have already installed it uh, and uh, go to my settings option of this client i will select this open router as a api provider and here give your api key and here i will select this uh, name so what was the model name let me check again optimus alpha okay so here i will select this optimus alpha yes i got it and i will do the same for the act mode also and here select this open router put the api key and here it is optimus alpha and here another interesting thing is that you see that it supports the images that means if you have any prototype which is very good and modern looking in that case you can upload that here and you will get the output okay so click on this done okay so client has already published this version 3.11 some upgrades okay i will cover it in the next video this client updates okay so for that please don't forget to subscribe this channel okay now here it is the uh, prompt area and optimus alpha is selected now what i will do uh, i will copy this prompt so this is the game so i will copy this whole prompt and copy and go to here my plan mode is selected and now press enter and now here you will see that it is doing the api request and uh, blah 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 so it is right now doing the planning index.html uh, inside this src there is a main.js game.js okay mini js file it will create and some of the code features you see the three lanes procedural track obstacles and you know that when i uh, was tested this same prompt with the uh, previous quasar alpha i didn't get this type of uh, detailed explanation or detailed planning uh, from this from that model but for this optimus alpha i am getting the detailed prompt detailed uh, planning okay and here you see that proceed with pure html css javascript yes no framework because if i choose any framework in that case the video will be very much lengthy but i don't want to make this video very lengthy finally my task completed the 3d endless runner game and now i will open the index.html oh my god it is a good game man i have made this game using javascript and it is working man this arrow is actually working here you see that i am moving this object Okay, this is very interesting so you see that um, with some one prompt you can make this type of interesting game and you can share it with your friends and also you can uh, uh, publish this type of game on play store and on the left hand side here you see that this score is showing okay so this is a very good game that i have made with this with the help of this model uh, what was that model name optimus alpha and i use the prompt that is provided by this chat gpt okay so i hope you got the entire process now i am interested to make that sas landing page uh, so this was the prompt right if you want then i can give this prompt in the comment section now for that you have to comment okay so i will copy this prompt now let me go to my vs code now this was the game setup now i i have to make another folder for that okay now for the sas landing page i have uh, opened another new folder inside the vs code 
and I will again go to the client and here you see that this was the prompt for the 3.js game now I will give another prompt so the prompt I will copy from this okay so create a visually stunning SAS landing page in one HTML file okay so copy this and go to this client and here you see that Optimus Alpha is selected here this Optimus Alpha and now go to this plan mode and uh, press enter and let's see that how much it has a capability to give us a modern looking SAS landing page And on the right hand side you see that the coding structure is very good it has taken some variables global variables and it has used that and the name it has given this acme cloud the future of SAS. okay let me open it locally now i have this live server okay this is the landing page here you see acme cloud the future of SAS is here get started okay there is a cool hover effect also on this button so this is very much interesting why choose acme cloud so introduce your dashboard okay whatever users say here you see that it has included some images also this feedback portion and this is the pricing page okay let me open it uh, in full resolution and with so let me go to my browser and here open it here yeah now it is showing very beautiful man why choose acme cloud and whatever users say and simple transparent pricing here you see that a good pricing page and ready to get started now you tell me guys that how it is looking I think it is very much beautiful and in case of Gemini 2.5 uh, Pro also I gave the same prompt but I didn't get the this type of cool modern looking UI guys here you see that all type of icons hover effect all are there what is not there man oh, they have included all these things like for this Pro for this Pro they have used this border effect and it is actually looking very beautiful and you can uh, you can actually deliver this project to any client you want okay so I, I am very happy with this model guys now let me know your thought you also please try this model on your own and in your own machine the model name was this Optimus Alpha and um, tell me your thought in the comment section and uh, for this video and also tell me that uh, how was this video I have kept this video actually transparent so that you can understand the step by step process and um, I think this video is helpful for you guys if you found helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also and don't forget to tell me that how this new class is looking and uh, see you guys in the next video thanks for watching